To get started, I just added a video clip to my timeline that I'd like to zoom in on. Let's begin by moving the time marker to where we want to start our zoom. Then use the scissors tool to make a cut at that position. Now move the time marker to where you want to stop zooming in. Make a cut at that position. Then make sure your cutout clip is selected and click the crop tool. In the pop-up, click the pan and zoom tab. Now the outer rectangle that says start is where your video is going to start zooming in from. The inside rectangle that says end is where your clip is going to zoom in too. So select the inside rectangle and drag it to reposition it to where you want to zoom in. Then drag the corner handles to set how far in your zoom will be by the end of your clip. Alright, and now when I play this back, my clip zooms in, but I'm not done yet because I'd like my footage to stay zoomed in for a few seconds. To hold the zoom, move the time marker after your cutout clip to where you want the zoom's hold to end. Then make a cut at that position. Now in order to get an accurate hold on our zoom, we need to go back to the zoom settings for a clip that's zoomed in. So select the clip you zoomed in on and click the crop button again. Select the inside rectangle. Now you want to remember the ratio so you can set your following clip to it. You also want to do your best to remember where your inside rectangle is in the frame. This can be really tricky and will require some experimentation, but it helps to line up the rectangle with something in the footage that's easy to remember. I'm going to line up this top right corner of my rectangle to the valley between the mountains. Now select your following clip and click the crop tool. This time we're going to stay in the crop tab and set the ratio to that of our previous clips. If your ratio changes on its own like mine, just set it to custom and then re-enter it. Now position the rectangle where it was in the previous clip. I'm going to try to get my corner in that valley. And now when I play this back, I have a nice looking zoom with a hold at the end, but it's not perfect. Like I said, it can be difficult to get the hold exactly the same as your zoom, so you might have to go back a few times and adjust your rectangle. Okay, and now when I play this back, it looks better now. Alright, and that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.